anterior is going to be like right here. This isn't Crystal Barahona's first dissection. Here's the liver. It is, however, the senior anatomy student's first dissection of a fake animal. It was really cool. I did the pig two years ago, a real pig, and the smell is definitely a lot better with the cadaver. <laughs> Barahona and other students at J.W. Mitchell High School are the first in the world to use man-made synthetic frogs for dissections instead of the preserved dead ones. Principal Jessica Schultz says it's the solution for students who have opted out of frog dissections in the past. They were all engaged and indeed fingers deep in uh, the synthetic frog. Called sin frogs, they're developed by Tampa company Sindaver and made from water, fibers, and salt. Founder Christopher Sackley says comparing these to the real thing is apples and oranges. With a, a real preserved frog, you've got uh, basically a, a mess of grayish brown organs that look like. Um, old chewing tobacco to me. Sackley says while these are more expensive than dissecting a real frog in the long run, these are a better investment because they can be dissected more than once. They're $150 a piece, but it's not a fair comparison. Real frog is going to go in the trash and you're going to have to buy it again next year. And that awful formaldehyde smell, not with these frogs. No biohazards, uh, no formalin, no carcinogens. And it's got the approval of these students. The organs all seemed pretty cool. They all felt pretty much the same as a real one would feel. In Newport Ritchie, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. Now, Sindaver has been developing these synthetic cadavers for college students for years, from humans to cats, even horses. Everything from materials to completion is all manufactured locally.